Hello everyone and welcome to the Oklahoma News Report. I'm Rich Lenz. The old adage, no pain, no gain, certainly applies to road construction in Oklahoma. And with more than $5 billion in shovel-ready projects underway or soon to be, we're all going to be dealing with detours and traffic cones for the foreseeable future. Steve Shaw reports on what lies at the end of the road for ODOT. Two weeks ago, ODOT finished the last major phase of the decade-long I-235, I-44 interchange in Oklahoma City. It was the largest dollar amount project in state history. Now folks who drive between Oklahoma City and Edmond have six to eight lanes to navigate instead of four lanes or less. Engineers also included a much needed drainage system that ODOT says will easily stretch past our lifetimes. Now, the largest dollar amount project in history is going on way down in Durant, where ODOT is spending more than $150 million, including a federal grant to widen U.S. Highway 69 and add a rail underpass. This is a significant improvement to very old pavement along the US 6975 corridor. That is a major freight and trucking route. The, the more than half the percent of vehicles through there every single day are trucks. So it takes a beating on that pavement. It was past time to improve it. Over in Dell City, crews are ahead of schedule to reconstruct and widen six bridges. At a cost of $80 million, ODOT spokeswoman Cheer Salim says that should be finished by early next year. This is a very narrow corridor and we had five structurally deficient bridges along this section between I-40 and Sunny Lane and Hudeberg Drive. So it's tight, it's narrow, and it really needed significant upkeep and work. So we're excited to see it fully rebuilt with state-of-the-art bridges. Uh, you, those bridges are at Sooner Road, Southeast 15th Street, and Sunny Lane. At I-40 and Douglas Boulevard in Oklahoma City, ODOT is using $51 million in federal grant money to improve the I-40 corridor as part of a $114 million project. As part of our overall I-40 corridor widening, we're widening I-40 from to six lanes from basically I-35 to the Oklahoma County line. So motorists coming in from Shawnee will have a much improved commute in the near future once these projects are complete. One of the significant things that motorists will notice is that this will be rebuilt as a single point urban interchange. So it'll be the fourth SPUI in the state. Your other examples, there's two in Norman and one at I-40 and Morgan Road. So it'll be a very wide interchange that will help move traffic through the area faster. And it's specifically designed to help us with our trucking traffic through there. In South Oklahoma City, ODOT finished the first phase of a project to rebuild the I-35, I-240 interchange at a cost of $90 million. The next phase begins in early 2023. So we're planning ahead. You know, for many years, ODOT was behind, particularly in structurally deficient bridges. We have made significant strides in improving that. We're now down to fewer than 1% structurally deficient bridges on our state. So we're really focused now on improving pavement and lessening traffic congestion. Here's something to think about. Over the next 25 years, ODOT expects a 40% increase in traffic volume on the state's roadways and bridges. That's why crews are finishing the first phase of a project to vastly improve the I-44 US-75 interchange in Tulsa. We're currently in the midst of a $90 million phase that will help widen the interchange from four to six lanes. It's gonna improve traffic flow and lessen congestion in the area, as well as update very outdated pavement. The total price tag for these big ticket items, ODOT says, should be around $574 million. You know, it wasn't that long ago that the Sooner State was ridiculed because of the poor and even dangerous condition of some of its roads and bridges. Even with the incredible strides we've made over the past 15 years, there's still about $10 billion in unmet needs on our state highway system at this point. And that's due to more than four decades of underfunding. 
but the state legislature and the governor are both very committed to helping this stay moving forward with our infrastructure. They have been heavily investing in these efforts to get us to the point where we're really at the top tier of the nation in our infrastructure. And one other thing. So we just want to remind people that while we know it's difficult, we really need their patience, their attention, and for them to slow down every time they enter a work zone. You're going to see several hundred work zones across the state this summer, just as we always do as we try to improve our infrastructure for everyday Oklahomans. So we just ask for your patience and your cooperation. Steve Shaw, The Oklahoma News Report.